Have you wondered why the market always crashes so fast? And yet when it rises, it's always so slow. It has to do with three main reasons. One, how our brain is wired. Two, how we human behave. And lastly, the market dynamic. Today in this video, I'm going to share with you why the market is always crashing in such a fast manner and it has to do with you. See, you only got a, a second to turn fear and panic into power. power! That's right, you can't be scared. Yes, you're right, fear and panic. It can spread so quickly like wildfire in the financial market, leading to domino sell-off effects. Now, this is largely because of how our brain processes information. Our brains are wired to prioritize survival. Throughout human history, being alerted to potential threats and danger are essential for our survival. Imagine that you, you see a tiger coming and then you have fear and panic and your action is to run. It's the same thing as how we react to bad news in the stock market, right? Where we prioritize survival, a slight hint of a danger, a slight hint of a correction, then what we do then, we react. We do not turn our fear and panic into power. Instead, we turn it into action. And our action is to sell. However, when there's no bad news, then you don't switch on the survival mode. Then what do you do? You will slowly watch slowly enter the market and that is the key reason why a rise is often slower than a crash you know, the trouble is george with this recent market crash i'm afraid your stocks are no longer sufficient collateral for us to roll the loan over the second reason is over leveraging I think you remember that when times are good, your banker will call you and say, Hey, look, do you want to take a loan? I can lend to you a very good rate. But when times are bad, when, when for example, the stock market crashed or when there's a credit crunch, then the bank will call you and say, Hey, it it's time for you to pay up. I remember during the COVID-19 pandemic and then everything was uh, dropping and there was a huge spread in the bond you. So my banker called me and said, Hey, look, Beanie, I need to give you a call later on with my colleague. And I said, Okay, um, you just take whatever that's from my bank. I have enough money. You can use it to tie over the margin need. And then my banker was so relieved. Right. So when you look at, at times of market optimism, investors will take on more risk and they will leverage their positions. They borrow money to invest. But when the market reverses, you'll be faced with margin costs for selling and that can lead to a huge drop, a swift downward spiral. And this is the reason why a crash is often faster. Why? Because the bank also stabbed you in the back. I just wanted you to know that, um, that yes, Morgan has suffered some losses, but our liquidity is strong and there is no cause for concern. The third reason is liquidity. Liquidity refers to how easily you can buy or sell something without causing a huge price swing. For example, how easily you can actually sell your stocks without causing a huge price drop. Now, during the market crash, for example, it is hard to find buyers and these cause price to drop quickly. I still remember during the COVID-19, one of the bond that I had, right, the ask price was at 95 but the bid price was surprisingly at 70. This is how wide the bond you opens up. So for example, if I don't have enough margin, I don't have enough money, I'm actually borrowing money, I don't have enough money and the bank call me to pay. When I need to sell, I have to sell at 70. But when I want to buy, I have to buy at 95. So that's a huge open up of the bond you spread. Okay, and this is caused by liquidity. So for seller who are desperate, they can only sell at the much lower price because simply there's no liquidity, no buyer to buy from the seller. You're broke, Ray. You sell now or you lose everything. And I have to admit that people tend to react to negative news or events quite quickly than versus positive news. I mean, if I were to do a YouTube video and say the market is about to crash now, I think a lot more people would just click than versus the video that we're going to see a rise in the market. 
I mean, if you look at positive news, people are often skeptical about it, and this causes a slower or more gradual reaction to it, and thus a slower and more gradual reaction to price. Plus, again, the media tends to give more attention to market crash because whenever there's a slight drop in price, I will get a call from the media, the newspaper, and ask me, "Hey, is this a market crash? What do you think? Will there be a further drop?" So there tends to be more emphasis because I think that. Having a crash is more like a, a news point. That's how I see it, right? Then, if this is the case where everybody is reporting a crash, then the more that's being said, the more true it will become, isn't it? It'll never get that high. Let's sell now. And the last reason you guess it is so much easier to sell than buy because when you sell something, you already own that stocks, isn't it? You just have to give a call to your broker. You just have to click a button and then press sell. So it's a lot more easier to sell when there's a slight bad news that came in. But when you are buying, what does it mean? It means that you have to fork out money. You have to take the money from your bank and then transfer that into your brokerage account. Then it becomes a lot more complicated process. Or maybe your decision making can be a lot more difficult when you are thinking to buy. So whenever there's a slight bad news, then it's easier to call and say it is very high. Easier to justify that things are going to be bad in the future and to click the button to sell. Suburbs is going to kill me. Hey, Tweety, the Beardstown ladies predict a stock market crash next month. And yes, if I tell you that the stock market is going to crash next month, I think more likely you're going to send this to your friend than if I tell you that the market is going to rise. How about you just click on the subscribe button? And send this video to your friend to entertain them. But I thought that I've shared something with you to let you know why the market always drops faster than it goes up. And I hope that this information would be entertaining and useful to you. And if yes, please remember to hit the subscribe button and to share that with your friend and to click the like.